see now just for the high level lambda of expressions expression is used to is is used to reduce the reduce the number of lines code lambda of expression is used to reduce the number of lines code and lambda expression is used to reduce the number of lines and avoid avoid implementation classes avoid implementation class now so functional interfaces are used interface is used to call to call lambda expressions no see here functional interfaces are two types team functional interfaces are two types interfaces are two types one is user defined one is user defined functional interface another one is predefined functional interfaces one is user defined functional interface another one is predefined functional interface user defined means according to the developer requirement we have to so now we are developers developers will write this right it will write using at the rate functional interface okay team as okay, everyone knows a functional interface will have only single abstract methods now what is mean by predefined okay functional interface there are many predefined okay functional interfaces are there one is predicate another one is function another one is consumer another one is supplier supplier okay next one team by predicate by predicate by function by predicate by function and then by predicate okay depends upon the see now here of okay, use case of okay, okay, you have to write it by predicate by function by consumer unary operator and the last one is binary operator unary operator and binary operator team so today we are going to use important concept is called predicate once the predicate is done later we will see important one is called function after that okay after that now here consumer and supplier team so i would say predicate is used so what is mean by predicate number one it is an it is an boolean value function it is a boolean value function it is a boolean value function predicate is used to perform perform some conditional checks perform some conditional check that is either the either the either conditional checks checks are there 
wherever conditional checks are there wherever wherever conditional checks are there use predicate use predicate instead of instead of write okay instead of write instead of write more code i would say i would say okay, instead of write more code i would say predicate will replace predicate will replace the replace the okay okay if statements predicate will replace the okay if statements see small example first how the predicate is there how the predicate is there small okay, small example we will see predicate okay interface interface predefined predicate here is okay input okay input a boolean function okay it is a boolean value function boolean boolean test boolean test t Boolean function T T. Okay, now it is a predicate. Boolean function T T. Understood? See, that means. So, now my question is, it is a predicate syntax. Where to use, how to use, now we will see practically. First, I have a one method public boolean test method. Take this test method as whatever it is string length. My business logic is if. If if string I business logic if string dot length string yes string dot length is greater than is greater than six return zero. Return true. Else, return false. See, you have to write one which logic to, to do some small checks. I would say if it is lambda expression, okay, how to write lambda expression? How to write lambda expressions? S colon. If the input is single arguments, no need to provide the braces here. If you want, we can provide it. If the if the argument is only one, no need to provide this braces. If argument here, lambda expression body is only one, this braces also will not be required. But here, looks like body will come here more. See here, I am trying to write a lambda expression here. Here, this lambda expression, what it will say? See, this is the lambda expression. Functional interfaces are used to, to call lambda expression. What I am providing else? Else return false. I am closing this. So it is a simple one, one method how to write your logic, it is your lambda okay, expression how to write, but using predicate what it will be happened, you know, see here, please concentrate, predicate, string, t, 
is equal to s s dot length is greater than six s s dot length is greater than six that's it now you will call d dot test of you should pass or input whatever you want that's it that's it team you are replacing whole your you are replacing whole your uh, you know whole your logic with this single line team single line whenever you will give this you no know, what happened you know internally your predicate will be executed okay, instead of you will write all this logics your predicate would write internally this logic team you are replacing all this you know um, seven eight lines code to only one or two lines code team. only one or two lines code team i will show you practically team i will show you practically see now now we will see how due to this predicate here i will show you practically now see how due to this okay predicate here You can write all logics team. We can write all our okay logics using this predicate. Wherever okay, if conditions are there, don't use okay, if conditions. Use your predicate. Wherever your if condition, generally if conditions will return either true or false. Predicate is used to to implement a uh, booleans. Okay, implement a conditional checks. Wherever conditional checks are there, sometimes what happened? In your project requirement, so now here see. Okay, sometimes what happened? Your project requirement, you you would have, you know, more see in conditional checks. More conditional checks means, so okay, how it is there? If if object not equal to null. And, and object dot get name dot equals of empty so okay whatever it then only then only perform some business logic team then only perform some business logic so this is called more conditional checks what i would say here it is a one predicate it is a another predicate it is a another predicate team this concept is called predicate joining predicate joining what is predicate joining what is predicate joining team Predicate joining is used. Okay, it is used. Predicate joining is used. Combined two or three predicates. Combined two or three predicates. Okay, if you want to perform, if you want to perform multiple conditions, multiple conditions, then we should use we should use then we should use predicate joining like a a 
we have functions are called negate you have functions are called and you have functions are called negate and see functions are called or simple instead of you will write okay instead of you will write now here big logic here using these functions okay you can write it to team using these functions you can write Okay, simple team. I have yes, some list data, either list or whatever it. I have some integers. Integer of x is equal to I have some values. Generally, should give 10, 20, 30, and so on, some values team. What is my, my problem statement? My problem statement is filter the data. Filter the data, filter the data with, filter the data, what are the values, filter the data with greater than 10 and, and even numbers. Actually, you, you should write so much of logic, use for each loop, iterate it and all. So, how the predicate? I should use predicate two ways. One is predicate. These are called like integer values. Integer i. i. i greater than 10. Next one. Predicate. Integer. Integer. So it is in P1. It is in P2. I here. I percentile 2. I here. I percentile 2 team. Is equal to 0. Means I want to perform 2 logics. What we will do now here if now here we should do how it works here now we should do how it works here so you should know here how it should write here you have a p1 and p2 here you have a p1 and p2 for for int i equal to 0 you should do whatever you want you should do predicate predicate okay integer only here result is a okay, integer p3 p1 and p2 p1 and p2 now here if if you use p1 and p2 now what records will come so if you use p1 and p2 what records will come that records will be due now for int i equal to 0 int okay, x1 colon okay, x you will iterate it all okay, everything if if p3 dot Test of x1 means record one by one is coming. It is verifying these two conditions here. If all okay, then return true. System dot out dot print ln of x1. Understood. Team, this is one. Okay, instead of you will write so much of logic here, 
simple you can use p1 you can use p2 same if you want r you can write r if you want r so here predicate and predicate r predicate negote negote means it will be a okay reverse understood team Are you clear team? So let's see practically these examples now. How to use a predicate. Okay, any questions team? How to use a predicate? New class. Com dot. Pinotech dot. Predicate. Predicate demo. Predicate demo. Now here see team. How it works. Now first we will see. Okay, simple examples. Now we will see. Okay, next examples. Now. Predicate Java dot it will dot function integer integer p is equal to i colon i greater than some 10 system dot out dot print ln dot c you, you don't need to write any business logic test of some 10 value you should give or 11 value you should give see run as java application predicate is usually to, to replace the to replace the to replace the if condition stream it is one or okay, integer is done now string one you can use same logic here predicate it is an it's not integer, it is a string. P, P is equal to S colon S dot length is greater than 10. System dot out dot print ln P dot Test of Sinotech. Now oh, here she depends. Now if you run, run as Java application. True. Okay, instead of you will write if conditions and all, you will write only one. That's it. This predicate would be more helpful to write your la to stream APIs. To write your stream APIs. I want apply this predicate in my collections okay you can apply how to apply predicate predicate you can go for any collections either set or list c colon what you want c dot C dot what function you want to call is empty it is a collection even now let's see okay, how to use you have you have some simple list to team from the back end you are getting list of uh, uh, values From the back end, you are getting a list of values team, maybe a string, maybe integer, whatever. it list to dot. Add off. Something C no or whatever it is. Now, I want to apply this predicate now.
न्यू और लिस्ट लिस्ट एल इज इक्वल टू न्यू और लिस्ट जावा डॉट डिटल डॉट और लिस्ट हियर लिस्ट इज नॉट ए डबल इज बी टोटल लिस्ट डन सो इट इज ओके यूज केस वन ओके यूज केस टू नाउ हियर ओके यूज केस थ्री सिंपल टी यू डोंट नीड टू राइट टू मच ऑफ कोड हियर सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन टी वन डॉट टेस्ट ऑफ टी वन डॉट टेस्ट ऑफ लिस्ट इफ दिस प्रेडिकेट हैविंग दिस ओके दिस लिस्ट हैविंग इफ इट विल वेरीफाई इफ दिस लिस्ट इज ओके एमटी इफ इट इज एमटी ट्रू इफ इट इज नॉट एमटी रिटर्न एज ए फॉल्स Understood team. Predicate. Predicate is usually to to replace the verb. You have to you have to be be you know okay practice team. Okay you you have to be more hands on with this okay predicate team. This okay functional interfaces are very very important. Trust me. If you are going with Spring Five, if you are going with any other frameworks in Java, most of the frameworks predefined they have written. Functional interfaces only. You will be able to know while we are practicing this stream APIs, stream operations. Okay, you will be able to know where to use this predicate and all. If you want to filter the data, if you want to filter the data, you should go for predicate because to filter the data, we need some conditional supply. Filter data means I want to filter data. From this batch, whoever is you know joining only at okay 6:30, like that means I should apply some logics. I should apply some okay logics. Logics are mandatory. Understood here. Predicates are used to to perform some business logic. To Perform some business logics, you know, business conditions. Wherever business conditions are there, use this predicate. Don't use okay, okay statement. Understood? Now, okay, next one. When I should go for this predicate joinings, predicate joinings team. Now, okay, examples on predicate joinings. We have three functions: negate, negate. We have three functions, and we have three functions. R, negate, and R. R. Let us start. Then you should go for negate. Then you should go for and. Then you should go for or team. Okay. And you should go for and. And you should go for or. Okay. Defense team. Now we'll see practically. Yeah. Now see, I have one simple demo. Same thing. Whatever I have written here, I have in TX team. This is my data. is my data okay no that is my logic i want to apply two three conditions wherever condition is there wherever condition is there you should go for predicate wherever condition is there you should go for predicate I want to value who is greater than or equal to ten. Here already P one would be there. P two. P three.
should go is equal to zero. Now write your logic. How to write your logic? How to write your logic? See, depends upon the requirement. You should write your logic. So now, I will write one. I will write one user defined method instead of writing public static void m1. It is a static method. Predicate integer integer t. I am passing this array of elements for int i equal to 0 sorry int it is n for each loop int x1 colon x if e dot test of x1 e dot test of x1 system dot out dot um, and ln Out dot print ln x1. So now, now here I will pass one by one here. What is my first requirement here? First requirement is I want only I want list of get the list whose values are greater than or equal to 10. I mean greater than 10. What should I do immediately? M1 of M1 of I should pass here only P2 predicate. I should pass my array elements. That's it. If you will give right. See if I try to run the application. You will get only greater than 10 values. That will be good. The next one is I want only even numbers. Okay, use case two. Use case two. Get list. Get the list which are get the even numbers from the list. Simple team passing to M2 P2 comma X P2 comma X now okay, run as Java application. See what are the events are there? 20 all are even, all are even, all are even numbers. Okay. Now, okay, next one team. Or if you want any okay, differentiation, you can give. Even numbers from the list. See, 20, 30, 40, done. Okay, next one team, third one. The third one. Yeah. The given numbers are what are the numbers is not greater than or equal to 0. What are the numbers is not greater than or equal to 0. Is not equal to 0. Given numbers are not, not greater than or Oh, okay, not greater than zero. Let's see. One, M one. Here. Ah. M one. Sorry. P one. Negate. What is negate? Means it's a reverse. Reverse means you give i greater than ten, but it will give what are the less than ten values? It will come. 
negate means it, it will be a okay, reverse team whatever condition you apply that reverse condition it should come that reverse condition it should come now what is okay reverse condition i want to apply here from p2 negate i want to apply here from p3 negate what is p2 i greater than 10 values i want or what is p3 i percentile 2 i want but negate means it is a it is a reverse operation let's see see first one what happened from the list i okay i greater than 10 means you can write one okay conditions apply negate negate apply now here ct see negate apply means only 10 came why only 10 came you want okay reverse what are the values i greater than 10 values we don't have any values now okay, reverse means for what i less than 10 values i less than 10 values here see greater than 10 value means 20 30 40 50 60 will come reverse means don't use greater than 10 give either less than or equal to 10 it gave only one negot means here i percentile to equal i want even okay reverse means no even these are all is not even it should came here understood team now oh, okay next one is system dot out dot print ln apply apply the and and function and method how to apply this and method now here see m1 I have p1 and predicate and predicate 2 and predicate 3 p2 and p3 comma comma exit you are informing hey please take these two conditions predicate and this please take this two conditions please take this two conditions if you take this to apply whatever you want see you now means i want list who is value greater than 10 and you know even all values will come run as greater than 10 will come and i percentile 0 will come these values will come here Understood team. The next one team. System dot out dot print ln or function or method. How to do m1 of m1 of e2 and not and either i i greater than 2 or e3 comma x team. That's it. See as Java application. Understood team? So these are called, these are called predicate. These are called predicate joining. Joining means apply one or two, apply two or more predicate, predicate uh, functions is called predicate joining, is called predicate joining team. I told one more simple example. The next one here only. It is a okay, predicate. One is done. Okay, next one. Okay, next one team. Predicate. Joining. Joining. Example two. Okay, use case two. What is this? Okay, use case two. You have 
list you have okay you have a list of object elements or you have an string array okay whatever you want string array names i told earlier names you will add names is one is synotech another one is Visual or whatever it you have a name. What logic you should apply? Predicate string p is equal to, p is equal to yes colon yes dot yes not equal to null. And s dot length is greater than or equal to five. Is greater than or equal to five. Understood, team. We have to know this one. Either you should go for array list. You should go for this one. P is already available. P four. How to do this one? For iterate this string name names string name names P four dot Test. Okay. Before dot test. If if we will write some logic. P dot test of name. If the name is, it will verify for every. Okay, it will verify for every check name system dot out dot print ln empty whenever this statement will be executed now what happened you know it will go to here it will verify whole here here you give this okay lambda expression either you should go for here lambda expressions or you should go for here you are using both using predicate from the predicate you are applying this lambda expression here now you are passing your predicate okay it will verify whether this value is okay or not see okay run as java function java function you, you can write some dot out dot to print ln predicate use case 2 No, no values will come here because we need to pass the values here. Names, we are passing one by one name. If the value is not equal to null and value is greater than or equal to 5, then print this value. Oh, it will not come anything. In if condition p4 dot uh, test system dot out dot yes 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 you are correct sir. sorry because all of examples in single class right no you got it if i give any of okay, less than or equal to strength won't come. see got it right how how we are writing you are beautiful logic here see but here okay interesting one is i am open this predicate see it is a functional interface if it is functional interface only one abstract method now and is a default method negate is a default one or also is a default one static method is there is equal to static method is equal is a 
static method a functional interface will have only one abstract methods zero or more default methods and static methods now here see the summary is here a functional interface predicate is an is an functional interface which will have will have one abstract method and zero or more zero or more default methods come on static methods default methods and static methods that's it if you take this predicate take this predicate now here abstract method is abstract method is test now here negate comma and comma and r all are default methods and and last one is is equal is static method is equal is static methods these are all called abstract methods these are all called abstract um, sorry default methods default methods it is called abstract method okay note if you want use predicate use predicate to filter the data use predicate to filter the data okay filter the data that is to filter the data to filter the data we should apply we should apply some business logics we should apply some business logics so here so use use you know predicate to implement to implement business logics business logics okay try to avoid that is try to avoid try to avoid 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 okay okay if statements okay statements statements from core that's it okay now this is what is simple like, like this we should use predicate we should use function still okay predicate is not done predicate only one argument is done tomorrow a predicate may have two arguments a predicate may have primitives how it works okay you'll see tomorrow tomorrow is as of no predicate is one argument now what happened if two arguments will come what happen if okay two arguments will come that is called by predicate what happen is, is it your predicate will support for okay primitive values is it your predicate will okay support for primitive values yes you should go for int predicate you should go for long predicate you should go for a okay, double predicate all will see team all 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 you'll see in okay tomorrow's class team now tomorrow class important we are going to okay, discuss about yeah when we should go for by predicate when we should go for one argument two arguments okay into predicate long predicate okay double predicate we'll see okay tomorrow's team tomorrow is okay important please don't miss because if you want to write see small example i will write see see here please why this okay importance of this predicate i have list data list dot stream of stream of if you want to apply filter what is the filter here argument here predicate 
Now, if you want to go for map, what is the argument here? Function. If you want to go for flat map, if you want to go for for each, what is the argument here? Consumer. Consumer. Yeah, see, if you are not understanding predefined functional interfaces, you can't understand this okay, stream APIs. That is the reason we started predefined functional interfaces now. If you understand practice how the predicate, function, consumer, supplier and all, you can understand easily this stream APIs, okay, stream operations.